Welcome everyone to this webcast live from the studio of the World Economic Forum, where we will have the pleasure to ask some very experienced and insightful experts to talk to some of the conclusions of this year's Top 10 Emerging Technologies Report of 2025. How does the research innovation cycle move the outputs of laboratory research all the way to the industrial scale solutions we need to address the challenges faced by society today. So across industries, the winners are not the ones that invent first, but those who combine vision, cross-pollination, ecosystems, scaling and courage in doing so will be the ones that um, will transform entire markets. In the last three years, fusion has clearly moved from science fiction to science fact. The green chemistry has been an engine for innovation. It's striking to see how many uh, discoveries from the lab are now being deployed by the chemical industry by investments exceeding $100 billion. Nanotechnology is coming to the rescue. Now we can produce and modify the structure of nanomaterials in a way that they behave like enzymes. So that's what nanoscience means. But yes, indeed, the ammonia market is changing. Why is it changing? We do not only need ammonia for as a fertilizer and as an industrial feedstock. We now also need ammonia for the energy world. Especially in, um, in some of the bold innovations that have been talked about in this um, in this meeting, uh, you know, courage is um, you know is absolutely essential. Whether it's from the courage of the funding agency, courage of the first entrepreneur, and the persistence um, that comes along with the courage, I think one of the interesting opportunity is that um, you know with AI we can really accelerate the deep science to deep tech journey uh, much faster.